Hey guys, it's Margaret and welcome to my channel Texas Gal Treasures. In this video I'm going to be doing some acid testing on gold. Um, so I've got some earrings here that I got from the Goodwill when I was back in Houston. I've also got a pair of earrings that I got from a, a lot that I bought from a lady on our um, Facebook group. So I'm going to be testing these pieces. Now I've got my stone. Um, if you're using acid tests make sure that you are wearing protection um, for your skin and for your eyes because it is acid and it will burn you. And if you, <laughs> let's show you the nicer side of this. I need to get a new testing kit. My silver I think is expired. So I bought this from Amazon and I have a link down below and it came with all kinds of things to test your jewelry with. So um, let's get started. So what I'm going to do, these earrings are marked 14K and what I generally do when things are marked, um, I'll test them with a magnet first to see if they're magnetic because then they, if they're magnetic, they're not going to be, you know, 14 karat gold. They might be plated or something else. And then also, um, with any piece that has more than one part, like this has got the hoop and it's got the, the stem part that goes into your ear. I'm going to test both of those pieces. So I will make a line. I'll find an inconspicuous spot um, to make a line with. So let me do that. So there's this piece. I've made it, make it a little bit longer. So there's that. And then the next one, I try to find a spot that's not going to show up. Um, if it, you know, there. Okay, so that's my first one, and I'm gonna keep that up here so I know that was my my first two here. And then this is comprised of four pieces, um, so I would test this loop. Now this is marked um, 14 karat gold, silver 95, and then AU, which is a gold mark, right? Um, so what I'm thinking is that this is gold silver and then this is a rose gold so if you um, are not familiar with rose gold it's a mixture um, different variables of gold silver and copper so the rose gold isn't as pure as other golds but it's just a, a different mixture um, depending on yeah how much of the gold silver and copper are used to create it but it's still gold Okay, um, so it's got these three pieces and then it's also got the hook. So I'm going to start with the hook and make that line first. I can't get a good, these gloves make it hard for me to get, get a good grip on it. So let's do the hook first. Here we go. There's the hook. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go gold, silver, and cop um, rose gold. There is my outer hoop and then my silver hoop and then lastly my rose gold. So the rose gold could have like a more of a pink or a coppery color depending on the amount um, of the other metal that it's mixed with. So here we go. So first two lines, maybe I didn't make them quite as dark as I could have. I'm gonna start with the 10K just so you see um, that it won't vanish or it will. If it's not real, it'll vanish. So if it is not 10K, let me zoom it in so you can see it a little bit better. Um, if it is not 10 karat gold or bo or better, it will disappear. So as you can see, you can still see the line through all of that. And then next I'll use the 14 K. Now the silver one, which is down here, the second to the bottom, the silver one, um, under the gold testing acid, it should turn like a white or like a milky white blue color. Um, and so you might, with the rose gold, you might see some of that because it does have silver in it. Because it is what it is. Okay, next. Um, you can still see, I know I didn't make these two lines quite as dark, but you can still see the lines through them. The first one was the the post, and then the second was the, the hoop on the earring, like so. Um, 
And then here we've got the hook. We've got the hoop, the hoop, the hoop, 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 hoop. Okay. So now I'm going to do the 18 carat just so you guys can see that it, since it's not this um, carat, it's going to eat away at that gold color. And then those ones at the bottom with the silver and with the rose gold, you're going to see a reaction <clears throat> because because it has silver in it. So you can see already that my silver one, that's this one down here, is already starting to react to that 18 karat gold and it's turning like that milky white color. And then you can kind of see there's starting to be a reaction to the rose gold one because it has a little bit of silver in it. So it is starting to react as well to that 18 karat gold. Okay. So, these were some good finds that we got. Um, let me zoom back out so you can see again. Zoom, 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 zoom. Okay, so these ones are um, 14 karat gold that I got in this lot, so that's a good find. And then these hoops that I got at Goodwill are um, 14 karat silver and rose gold. Um, so there's that. So that was $2.99. So that was a good deal as well. Um, so I hope you guys found this video helpful. Go down there and give it a thumbs up. And I will be back with more videos on testing. I may just do another one where I just test a whole bunch of stuff for fun. Um, so I will talk to you guys later. Bye, everybody.